Hello Python programmers. So I'm gonna welcome you all to my Python marathon series for beginners. Now this is the first video and in this video I'm gonna cover these three topics. First how to set up your Python environment into a Windows system. Now if you're Linux or Mac users I'll just provide the link below you can watch that and then you can join me in this beautiful journey of Python <laughs> okay so if you're Linux user or Mac user just watch that first and if you're Windows user come with me so let's open up our browser and simply write python dot org this is the official website for python now my internet is a tiny bit slow okay so go to this download section here you can see many versions of python okay you can see like a ton of python versions that you can install on your PC or system but I would recommend you to install the latest one um, now for here it is 3.7.4 let's download this uh, go down 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 now if you're a Mac user go for this I don't know where is Linux <laughs> but uh, I'm a Windows user and I'm using 64 bit so I'll go for this executable installer here just click on this one yeah this one here it's gonna download it's downloaded let us install it And do not forget to take this at Python 3.6 to the path and install. Click on install. It will take a bit of time. So here we go. We have installed Python. Let us check if Python has been added to the system path or not. Advanced setting environment variable here's the path edit so python 3.6 has been added and the script of the python has been added if this is not present you can add manually just open the script and just copy this one and paste it here so python has been installed and added to the path of the system now okay so now you have installed python and added that to your path now let's come to our second step here that is write your first python program and run it now when i was a beginner i wrote my first program in python id so i'm gonna do that for you also let's go down here where it's where is python where is python where is python yeah python 3.6 okay i'm using python 3.6 uh go for ideally it's not idly it's ideally i don't know how it is pronounced but <laughs> this is how i pronounce it okay so this is your shell here now you can write your python commands here also like let's start off with the cliche program for a beginner programmer which is hello world so let's write hello world press the enter and here we go this is your first 
python program now you can consider yourself as a python program as if now programmer as if now okay now there are multiple ways to write and run a python program now the first one is to simply go into a new file here and write whatever program you want to write we'll stick on to this cliche hello world program here hello world spelling is right okay done now i'll save it ctr plus s and it will be saved to the uh whatever path it is now many of the programmers use an ide okay i use sublime text because it's light and its auto prediction is very good and uh, it's also good for web development so basically i use for all purpose as you can see web development <laughs> okay so okay so i will provide the link below of how to install this sublime text editor and there are few editors like uh, atom and i guess spider and pycharm there are many editors and it is totally on you that which editor you want to use i think it's all the same it all is dependent upon the programmer that how he programs now how do you run these scripts you know that you can write in ides you can write on that python ideally now how to run these commands now what i normally use is open a folder in which we have a python file like this is this was the file which i have used in the web scrapping video the link is popping above if you want to see that now what i normally do is shift mouse left click then a powershell window option will come simply write python and then the name of your file here for me it's one.py just simply press enter and your python file will open now what else you can do is if you are working on python ideally what you can do is you can go to this run option here and click on run module save this okay one dot py i love this name i don't know why <laughs> so here you can see these are the two ways you can run your python script there are many ways like in many of the ides there are inbuilt terminals from which you can run okay so i guess this is pretty much you should know till now you should know how to install python on your system second how to create a python file and third how to run a python file so this video was just about that only okay so in the next video we'll see the basics of python